it's time to open a new module. This time it's module five, business leading. Little less to do overall, but the amount of work in each one is a little bit more, so it balances out. Let's take a look individually. The first is your chapter quizzes. So you'll be reading chapters 13, 14, and 15 and completing their associated quizzes. I encourage you to do that this week. This is the first week that this module is open. That way you have the information to use as reference and background knowledge before you get into the other assignments. Chapter 13 is on motivation, which also happens to be the focus of your team project. Chapter 14 is on leadership. And although people tend to have one leadership style over another, um, more research is showing that leadership styles are a more fluid thing than they originally thought. For example, your individual leadership style might be laid back and easygoing, but if people aren't getting the work done, you may have to step up and be more autocratic and tell people what needs to happen and give them deadlines and be more grumpy. Um, it just depends on what's happening within the project and within what has to be completed. Chapter 15 is on managing communication. It talks about a wide variety of, of communication formats and um, ways that you can connect with people most effectively. Uh, next on the list in, uh, is community leadership. This is going to take a little bit of time, so you'll want to start it be, um, this first week as well. There are um, two pieces. The first is to attend a meeting, and then the next is to write about it. So what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to attend a community leadership meeting. Um, wide variety of options, Chamber of Commerce, City Council, Planning and Zoning, Airport, it goes on and on. But no religious or religious related meetings. For a lot of people it's a comfort zone and I'm trying to push you out of your comfort zone. I want you involved with the community at large. Um, so. Um, Plan ahead, plan this week, this first week, so that you can see what you're going to be attending. Uh, then you'll write a two to three page paper that discusses the purpose for the group, so what is their charter, and then discusses the topics that were gone over during the specific session that you attended. Finally, include the name and contact information for the head of the meeting that you attended. Yes. I'm asking you to introduce yourself. It's a little scary, but I promise they will not only be nice to you, they will be excited that you took time to attend. It's rare when extra people attend and care enough to be involved, so it's a good thing. Not sure where to go? Well, this is a starting point um, if you live in Twin Falls area. Uh, there's lots of options. If you don't want those, you can go to the Chamber of Commerce or see what else there is going on. Uh, I think that's it for that assignment. As always, if you have questions, let me know. Going back to modules. Okay, next on the list is Microsoft App Forms. We're using this more and more at work, and it's fun, it's easy, it's quick. It's actually pretty cool. This is another one you're going to want to do this week. It has to be done this week, as a matter of fact. That way you'll have time to do the other pieces. So this week, you'll watch this little short video on how to. It doesn't take very long, and it's really easy. When you're tired of doing real homework, jump onto this. So you're going to create a survey that has three questions of different types. The topic is up to you. All I care about is that it's rated G and won't get me fired. Uh, you can set a background theme, lots of different options. It's a little quick click thing. Uh, then you're going to post your finished form in the discussion area. It's below this assignment and I'll show you. Uh, that needs to be done this week so that in the second week everyone can complete all of the surveys that everyone else posts. And that way you're only having to go in one time, read a 
share your input. You know, what's your favorite ice cream? Which season do you prefer? Any, whatever is fun. Maybe you'll come up with something more creative than I just did. Then on the last week, you'll create a summary of the responses. That way everybody knows, you know, what was the most popular flavor of ice cream or whatever. Uh, in this, once you have your um, form created and posted to the um, discussion area, just type completed in here. That way I know that you have your materials up in the discussion area. Uh, make sure that you switch to anyone with the link can respond, and that way everybody can take the, the survey. This is a fun assignment, but it's actually something that's being used more and more in business because it's so user friendly. Right below it, here it is, discussion module form surveys. So you'll just post it as a link by the end of the first week. In the second week, everybody will take turn, will jump in and respond to yours. And then the third week, you'll post um, a summary of results. It's just fun. I added first place, or excuse me, first aid in the workplace because it turns out that some of this information was required on the NOCTI exam. And of course, I want you to be prepared. Also, if something happens, there's just some basic information you should know as far as being alive. Um, so you'll download the worksheet. As you watch the videos, you'll fill in the spaces. And then once it's done, you'll just post the finished worksheet. A lot of good information, though, in that. The last thing on the list um, of required items is your team project. And for that, you are doing whatever you want. This time, you have autonomy to develop your own project, as long as it's related somehow to Chapter 13 and motivating employees. So people want to be motivated. They want to be encouraged and respected, and they want to do well. So what I want you to do is to show how do you help people be motivated. Assume you don't have money to give them every time you turn around, so you, you can't make it a monetary improvement. But what can you do? So the scope and format is up to the team. You might create a wiki or a research paper, a web page, a game, a video, whatever. It's up to you entirely. As long as I can clearly see that the team's project represents 7 to 10 combined hours of effort. If you throw up a quick little PowerPoint of seven slides and three sentences per slide, that does not represent seven to ten hours of combined effort over the three-week period. Now, that includes the development of your team charter, but still, show me that you understand what it means to delve into a subject and find some information of value. A rubric, 10% grammar and spelling. I hate it when people don't run through that. 30% creativity. 30% effective team procedures. You've now been through enough team assignments. You should have this teamwork down pat. Everybody's with someone new, so a team procedure should be a nice, fresh way to approach. 20% logical and informative information presented. So what you are presenting makes sense, and it's a college-level presentation or project or whatever. And then 10% is the quality of your finished project. Um, if you have different people do different pieces of a project and you don't take time to make them cohesive, well, that's going to cost you. Uh, after you're done with this, you'll be doing the regular team review, and you'll let me know who's participating and who isn't participating. And uh, be sure to include uh, lessons learned, because that's an important piece. We do have one extra credit opportunity. So if you find an interesting article online related to business, write a one-page synopsis discussing how it applies to what you're learning in class. And it's worth up to 10 extra credit points. You can repeat the assignment up to three times for a total of 30 points, and you submit them um, resubmit, resubmit, and I would see all three and be able to give you those points. So 
that's an opportunity for you to um, get some free points. So that's it for the module. Like I said, it's not huge, but some of it has to be done in week one so that you have it to build on. So if it were me, I would do the chapter reading. I would pick out a community leadership to, um, event to attend, wherever that's going to fit in. And then I would get my Microsoft app forms done and get that posted in the discussion board. In week two, oh, and then I would also do my team charter for my motivating employees with my teammates. In week two, I would be responding to classmates' form surveys in the discussion board. I would watch the first aid in the workplace, and I would continue with my team project motivating employees. In the third week, I would do motivating employees and wrap that up with my fellow classmates, and I would do the synopsis in the news, and I would also do my team review with my for my classmates. And that's how I would suggest breaking it up. That's how I would continue it. Um, why did I bring that up this time? Um, because a couple of people in the individual um, well, not individual, in the team reviews from last module, mentioned that they would like more guidance on when things should be completed. So I'm already implementing what you guys are giving me. Oh, as long as I'm at it, hold on just a second. I had to get to another class. I want to show you what I'm doing. Uh, beginning in the fall, based in part uh, um, on, on your input, I'm adjusting all assignments. Those of you who have completed the um, BME survey, thank you very much, by the way, have already seen the um, list of items that will be included, but this is what it's going to look like. So each assignment will be a standalone, well they'll still be in modules, but um, the first thing will tie into outcomes and what outcomes that the specific assignment applies to. Second is the anticipated time commitment. I know I already have that in the general course information, but now you'll also have it for each assignment so that you can plan accordingly. There'll be an overview, so what the assignment is in general, how it applies to the bigger picture, um, why we're doing it in class uh, or as part of the class, etc., etc. So anything that would help in there. And then the assignment itself, along with the specific instructions for the assignment and what you're supposed to do for that assignment. If there is a reference, I include the reference in APA format because everything in this class is APA format. Actually, everything in the BA program is APA format. And then if there's a rubric, um, that would be indicated as well. And in, that, in this case, it's just um, a very simple one. Um, another one is, let's take a look at the marketing plan overview. So see, this one has more outcomes. This assignment is actually less than an hour, but I'm rounding up. And then the total plan, the overview assignment, and then um, there will be a video discussing how I um, am doing this with a different project, and then specific instructions for what you're doing, and then reference and rubric. So that'll be each time. And that's based on the information that that you shared with me. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's it for this module. Let me know if you have questions or need assistance. Please don't wait till the last minute. Some of you lost points because you didn't ask questions. Um, and I want to be able to help. Thank you very much.